you know, if you don't see this, you are truly blind. And, and I, you know, I'm a religious nut job, so what do I know? But I can only describe what is happening in our country and our world as evil. There, the forces of evil have been unleashed and uh, everything is under attack. This isn't just about America. This is about the Western Judeo-Christian way of life. This is about everything on the line that the West has done. And it is a really well thought out plan uh, that has been in operation for a very long time. And I think that, you know, it's like, look at how fast everything has happened in, in the last 67 days. <laughs> look how fast things have happened. You already are questioning your military now, aren't you? You're questioning your military. Whatever side you're on, you're questioning the brass if you're, uh, if you're a conservative, and you're questioning the average soldier if you're a liberal. The military was the last thing that we had that we counted on, that we believed was not political, and they've politicized it. So much so that in about 10 minutes, you're going to hear from a guy who testified in front of Congress what they are doing in our military. It is terrifying how they're accusing our military of being complete nut jobs. They needed to make sure that the military, they could wash people out of the military that are from red states. This is my theory. I don't have anything to, no evidence of this other than, you know, I just don't believe in this series of coincidence. You know, it, it's, it's much easier to explain if somebody was sitting back and watching uh, and, uh, and planning all of this. They've done too much too fast for this just to be happenstance. So they come in, we have the January 6th uh, deal, and what do they do? The FBI comes out with a report saying, this is the biggest concern we have. Really? Not Antifa? But th that collection of people? Really? The military is now is suspect? Uh, and it's pretty much everyone who voted Republican is an extremist. You're a white supremacist Christian extremist. Well, that's demonizing half the country. What, how? Why would you do that? Well, then you have a shooting. You have a crazy guy who shoots up the salon, and what do they say? It's a right-wing extremist. W when he wasn't. A, he was nuts. Second of all, he even said, no, this had to do with, with sex addiction. Okay, but it didn't matter. Why? The narrative that was important to them at this time was that you were convinced, and not you because you're the target, that half the country is convinced that those people who live in the crazy red states are just that. They're racist and they're crazy and they're afraid they're going to lose their power and they are all gun nuts and they're going to shoot us all up. When this guy comes out and he's Syrian and a Muslim, what do they do? They immediately pivot to don't pay attention to the guy, pay attention to the gun, which they didn't do last week because they haven't cemented in the left's mind entirely that everybody who votes differently is a terrorist. So they have to paint everyone who is against H.R. 1, against open borders. They have to paint these people as crazy and dangerous. That was going to take some time. They've been thrown off their game. I don't think they were planning on hitting guns this soon. First year, absolutely. When the time came, you bet. But I don't think they were done uh, focusing America on how bad things are, these right-wing extremists. That's how they needed to paint us to silence us and also paint us to get us to give up guns or go to war or be rounded up by, you know, 
uh, sheriffs all around, those people who won't give up guns. They need us to respond in, in violent ways. And when we don't, they just make it up anyway. So you mentioned something, I think it was yesterday or the day before, that this wasn't necessarily the event that puts this over the line. They still need a crystal no. clear cut Correct. Like event. Correct. Can you they explain need that? A, yeah, they need a uh, Las Vegas. But they where, need where a Las Vegas where the motive is clear. And it's, it's you know, they, some... they need a January 6th. And, and, and everything they do fosters that kind of feeling in a lot of people. Mm-hmm. They are taking away. They're operating as if they have a mandate when they don't have a mandate. This is a clear election where you, like, moderate. You know what I mean? You Usually, come together, yeah, you work yep. together. That's the way it would be. They're operating as if this is a mandate. And then they're calling everyone who disagrees with them racist, but they've gone an extra step. A dangerous extremist. Mm. That's Patriot uh, Act talk. Because I was reminded today that after Sandy Hook, you remember the push for gun control yes. after Sandy Hook? The Democrats had 58 senators when they tried that and couldn't yes. get it through. Yes. 58. But it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's thrown them off the game, but it doesn't matter. So this is why they are saying it doesn't matter uh, that this isn't the one. Um, they just would have rather had another another shooting to build up. It's going to take several because what they need to say is enough is enough. Enough is enough. And uh, I mean, they're they're just not there yet. They're you know we're we're gearing up towards it, and they're trying to pass other things first. And I believe that they take away the filibuster or anything else. You will have if I'm plotting for them. Mm-hmm. I'm like you take away the filibuster, you take away their voting, you know, and you totally change that and take it away from the states, uh, and then you're spending money like crazy and you're giving it to certain groups and not to white people they're going to go crazy they're going to go crazy so with the next thing we'll be able to get guns i believe this is the storyline they're working on plant the seeds in the minds of the american americans that half the country is crazy white extremist hicks that have guns and are coming to get you then do everything you can to piss those people off and then they will become, well, I think constitutional patriots, quite honestly. But they they will start to stand up. If we stand up violently, they got us. But now is not the time. It will not pass this time, I think. It will not pass this time. And what will happen? The next time they have it dead ringer and it's a big shooting and it's some, you know, right wing guy or even just apolitical, but they can make him look like a right wing extremist. They will. And they'll say it's time. This is the Glenn Beck program. There's such a line between constitutional patriots that stand up without violence. Yes. And huge. People who stand up with violence. I mean, you said it. Look what January 6th has done already. I know. You, you, we lose if we stand up with violence. You lose. Mm.